welcome to a slice of paradise where the beaches have the bluest water and so many boats it's the place where apparently freddie mercury was born in this video i want to show you guys what this beautiful island has to offer All right, right now we've hopped onto a taxi that's going to take us all the way to a place called Nungui Beach, which is at the northern tip of the island. And it's going to be about an hour, 45 minute drive. Our travel experience right now, one Boda Boda and one all for the luggage. I don't even know how they managed to get all that on there. So this road is built entirely on coral stone and so it's so rough with all the coral just popping out of the road. Woo! So you're probably wondering how we got here. We got dropped off by the taxi, like it basically didn't want to get onto this road and so he was like we can call a couple of uh, motorbikes and they can take you to your hotel. <laughs> <laughs> the things I've made you do this whole trip, huh? Dude, I've never done a sandwich in my life. <laughs> Raj has such a big bum, so he's taking up so much of this space. <laughs> I literally have no space behind me. Uh, oh no, Raj. And this Raj, road Raj, is Raj, horrible. Oh my God. <laughs> we made it. We have finally made it to paradise. This here is a place called Nungui in Zanzibar, which apparently has the finest beaches in all of the island. And we've just checked into a hotel that's at the seafront. This one's called Sandy's Baobab Resort. But before I give you guys a room tour, we have to get ready quick because we need to rush out ASAP to find some dolphins and swim with them. Look at how blue this water is. What? <laughs> it's like a swimming pool. So I rate the dolphin excursion a 3 out of 10. So basically you have all these boats that are just chasing all these dolphins. There are about 4 or 5 of them and then when you get to a point where the dolphins are kind of relaxing, other people are just jumping into the water and trying to find the dolphins and then the dolphins are just swimming away from you. So it's not the best experience in my opinion. And I feel like right now it's not even uh, peak season. So I'm wondering if there's so many tourists, what would happen then? Anyways, so now we've made it to the island. It's called Namba Island, right over there. And apparently it's a private island. So no one can really go there unless you pay a lot of money. But right over here, there's a snorkeling spot. It's time to jump in. That was one of the best snorkeling I have ever done. There was one, I was following like Finding Dory. I don't know what that fish is called, but I was following that fish. It was so cool. So right now we stopped over at a sandbank, but uh, the tide has come up a little too high. But look at this water. So, so beautiful. And that was $20, very well spent. I wasn't such a big fan of the dolphin part, but the snorkeling and the blue water just really made that trip so worth it. The positioning of this resort couldn't be any more perfect, guys. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Things that got me Kardashian, I'm just living life. You know me? I'm just living life. Don't say we didn't live life. <laughs> So the restaurant at this resort is set up in such a beautiful spot. 
that's our view and they serve in a buffet so I have built my own salad and I'm really proud of how far I've come I've taken a little bit of fish and a lot of different greens my plate is so colorful <sighs> going healthy is fun ish yeah but cheers to health and rejuvenation <laughs> hashtag drink water kids stay healthy stay hydrated so Nungui is a place that's known to have the best beach in all of Zanzibar and so because of that there's a lot of tourists that come here generally especially in couples and because of the rushing of all the tourists this place is really tailored towards that so you have a lot of water sport activities a lot of parties welcome to my home for the next three nights I like how all this furniture is white, has that boho feel to it. You have this modern aesthetic to it with the wooden finishes. Two showers, a his and a hers. Over here next to the setup is a beautiful gift for us. This is a Serengeti Sauvignon Merlot. Gonna be having that tonight. Let me quickly tell you about the sponsor of today's video, which is Surfshock. We're in December and with that comes holiday and travel. Now, while you're traveling, you may want to connect your device to the internet using public Wi-Fi's, which exposes your sensitive information, such as bank account information or passwords to all sorts of threats. Luckily, you can protect yourself with Surfshark, which offers the best VPN on the internet. VPN is a virtual private network, which takes all the data moving between your device and the internet and encrypts it all so that if anyone gets their hands on that data, they won't be able to do anything with it. With Surfshark, you can also virtually change your location and take advantage of international content. For example, if you're a Kenyan like me and you're tired of Netflix not offering popular international shows, well, then you can connect yourself to countries like the US or UK and Canada or any other country and access your favorite TV shows from there, which is a huge plus if you're planning to binge watch Netflix during your December holiday. For my viewers, Surfshark has offered 83% off plus four extra free months if you follow the link below, so make sure to take advantage of that and let's get back into the video. All right, so the cool thing with this hotel is that if you're here on full board or I believe just in general, they have kayaks that you can take into the water for free. And because the water is so calm, we're going out kayaking. <gasps> Woo! Push me, push me. Yeah. Put some muscle in it. Right, ah! right now, it's a little bit of an emotional moment for me because my girlfriend just sent me a video of her celebrating her birthday. I'm not able to be there and at this moment I realized how much I miss her, how much I miss my family and I decided to leave Kenya and buy a one-way ticket to Tanzania and from here I don't know when I'm going back and it's a little bit scary but you know at the end of the day it's a decision that I took and I'm so grateful for every single moment that I've been able to experience. Travel vlogging has opened me up to so many new experiences, to so many different people. And I can't be more excited about what the future is going to be of Adventure Sting and my different travels. But for now, yeah, just feeling extremely emotional that I'm not able to be with uh, my girlfriend on her birthday. I have been sleeping like a baby. Every time it's time to wake up, I just wonder to myself like, is it worth it being a vlogger? Do I need to wake up? It's so peaceful and the beds are so comfortable. Probably some of the best sleep that I've had this entire trip. White sand as soft as powder, blue ass water and no seaweed. It's so clean. I'm actually quite surprised. Usually when you come to a place like this, which is quite touristy, you'd expect prices to be quite high, but when you want to do certain excursions over here, like going on boat trips, jet skiing, riding on horses, it's actually quite reasonable. Guys, the excursions here in Nungui keep getting more and more interesting. So right now we've come to a place where it's a natural aquarium for turtles and you can swim in them. <laughs> no freaking way, what? Look at all the turtles. 
I'm even in shock there's a place like this in Zanzibar. I know, right? <laughs> I'm about to enter the water and there are like so many turtles here. Look at this one, it's so cute. What's up, buddy? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Do you want to tell them to subscribe? <laughs> oh, okay. I, I guess. So they have like seaweed over here, which you can use to feed the turtles. Hey! <laughs> oh my god. It's time to attract like hundreds of them next to me. Is that not enough? Would you guys like some more? Don't bite me. <laughs> There's like a hundred of them swarming me. Who told you to feed all of them? <laughs> Just take them. <laughs> oh my god, guys, you gotta stop swarming me. I know you're my biggest fans. But you kinda gotta stop. <laughs> They're just bumping into me. Okay, guys, boom. Okay, bye bye, turtles. Until next time. I've always wanted to swim with turtles, and to be able to swim with all of those bucket list items. Check. Hello! Hello! Yesterday when I was walking along the beach, I saw a couple of horses in the water and so I ran behind the guys leading the horses. I was like, how do you do this? Here we are now and <laughs> we're swimming with horses. <laughs> I won't lie, this is so amazing. I didn't know Zanzibar has so much to offer. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fall off this guy. Okay, I'm going to fall again. <laughs> First one to make it into the water is me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I lost balance, just fell off. Hey, he showed me how to balance. I can balance on it. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm adventurous thing, that's why. <laughs> You're a good boy, aren't you? You're a good boy, aren't you? You know. I'm just living life. Nice. This trip is all about relaxation and so right now I'm heading to the spa. So this here is the inside of the spa and it's one of the most beautifully set up. Really nice and airy. We got some relaxing music playing at the back. Oh, they serve hibiscus tea. Ooh. All right, 40 minutes on this bed. I'll see you guys shortly. It's our final evening here in Zanzibar and we're going to be enjoying our final sunset on that. Jumbo! Jumbo, Jumbo! Ooh, ooh. Jumbo! Jumbo, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, good. Woo! Up goes the sail, the huge sail. It's time to cruise along the coastline as the sun sets. Hey, look, they have a flag of Kenya. Woohoo, represent! <laughs> Also the boats from Kenya? Yeah, from Lamu. So right now we're sailing on, this boat is actually called a Dao. The captain was just telling us that this Dao is actually from Lamu. So it's like the traditional Lamu Dao where you pull up a sail. It's a huge sail and when you look at it from far, it looks like it's much larger than the boat and it's going to tip the boat over, uh, but it actually isn't. They kind of pull and loosen the sail just to control what direction you're going in. So Zanelle's going her own separate way. She has a lot of work to do in Kenya before she proceeds to what different countries? Yep. Uh, but we will meet again in about a month uh, as I continue the rest of my trip here in Tanzania. I have another two weeks left here. It's sad to be seeing you I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you too. I've got some cashew nuts, peanuts, this is called save and some cassava crisps. Right now, I'm the most relaxed I've ever been on a trip. Usually, when it's even Dow cruises, I'm always creating content. It's the first time I've actually laid back, 
I'm enjoying the sounds. I'm just enjoying what the sail looks like and everything. Oh, this has been so much needed. Love the life you live, live the life you love. Perfect motto to live by. Guys, this is hands down the most beautiful sunset of ever experienced. The only words I have are wow. Asante sana. Guys, it has been an amazing past couple of days here in Zanzibar and I highly recommend that if you're planning a trip, you make it here because this place has blown my expectations out of the water. Tomorrow, um, getting on a flight and heading somewhere really exciting uh, to check off something that has been on my bucket list for the longest time. So if you guys want to watch that video, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this one, make sure to hit the like button because it really helps this video get pushed further by the YouTube algorithm. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace! Peace.